I'm Anil Kumar and here is an application of sine or cosine law. The question is, a hot air balloon is 800 meters directly above the Pearson airport. Angle of depression to highway 409 in south is 78 degrees. Exit to my house on highway 427 is 2 kilometers north of 409. Determine the angle of depression to the nearest degree from the balloon to my exit. So that's kind of a real life situation. And let us see how to solve such a question. You can always pause the video and answer the question. Now, my reason of taking this example is that we are talking about north and south directions, right? And normally what we do is we always mentioned north uh, like this. Now, if I make a diagram like north and south, it kind of becomes difficult for us to visualize. So what I'm doing here is that instead of keeping north as facing towards the top, I'm changing this convention, right? Well, this should not be normally done, but it is not wrong. So what I'm saying here is that on this sheet of paper, uh, this direction is north, okay? So if this is north, then moving towards this side will be east. And from this point, that should be south. Does it make sense? So we are saying now those are the directions. We kind of uh, change the direction on our paper, right? So. It, you could see this also on some maps, right? Sometimes we conveniently change it. But if you are given that on the map, you have to read north as moving towards the right. When I sketch the diagram, I think this, things will be uh, more clear. Now let's read the question here. A hot air balloon is 800 meters directly above Pearson Airport. So uh, let us say that the position of the balloon is kind of here. Okay, angle of depression to highway 409 in south is 78. So when we want to make angle of depression, what do we do? We basically draw a line, um, horizontal line here, right? And angle of depression is always from the horizontal. So we are saying from this point towards south. Now south is towards left for me. 78 degrees to get the idea so this is 90 so 78 will be kind of like this is that okay it should have been much more steeper anyway so what i'm saying is this angle is 78 degrees for me okay so that is towards highway 409 so that's the name of highway these two highways are close to airport pearson in toronto exit to my house on highway 427 is two kilometers north of 409. So basically from this point, which is on 409, two kilometers north. That means, uh, let me draw another horizontal line which is kind of parallel to this because we are dropping in north-south, right? North is towards the right for me. So this is two kilometers. Let's say, let's say this represents two kilometers, okay. So it says exit to my house on highway 427 is two kilometers north. So this line from here to here is two kilometers north of 409. <clears throat> so this point represents highway 409, okay? So that's kind of a connection between the two. Determine the angle of depression to the nearest degree from the balloon to my exit. So basically what we have to do here is we have to find the angle of depression from the balloon. So there is the balloon, this angle of depression. Do you get the point? So we have to find this angle. How much is this angle? So that's the question. I hope the question is very clear. So that is the location for balloon. And here we have, let's say point A and the point C. Okay. Now what we need to find this angle of depression let's say this angle is theta from the given information. Is it okay? So we are given one angle and the distance between A and C and we have to find 
the angle of depression. Correct? We are also given one more information that is hot air balloon is 800 meters directly above. So let's say this distance here directly above is 800 meters is 800 meters. So that is also given to us. Now we need to find the angle of depression. You can actually pause the video and solve. Here is my solution. Since we know the angle of depression to one point which is A which is 78 degrees and if you see this makes a Z structure alternate angles this angle should also be 78 degrees. Knowing the angle and the altitude of this triangle which is the shortest distance from balloon to the ground in this case 800 meters we can actually find the length AB right. So what we notice is that the triangle let me draw let me write D here triangle ABD is right angle triangle right. Okay and therefore I can easily find the length AB. So relating AB which is the hypotenuse with side opposite to 78 as 800 meters I should be using sine right. So we'll use sine of 78 degree it should be equals to opposite side which is 800 divided by the hypotenuse which is AB right. So we can rearrange this and say AB is equal to 800 divided by sine of 78 degrees correct. So let's use the calculator to calculate the length AB. 800 divided by sine of 78 that gives us 817.87 817.87 now what we did here was uh, converted this we use meters is that okay so we have to use two kilometers as meters so I'm writing this as 2000 meters okay now once we know this side AB which is 817.87 let me keep it to two decimal places so we'll get better result for the given angle now with this information we can find that angle bca right since we know alternate angle theta will be equals to the angle bca we know angle b c a equals to the angle of depression theta since they are alternate angles right these are equal correct so let me show it here this angle is equal to that angle correct so if i find the angle b c a i find the angle of depression also correct so that is what we have so this is alternate angle let me write alternate angles okay how can I find this angle? We can apply the sine law, right? So, and find the angle. That is one way of doing it. Now, how to apply the sine law? Okay, so at this stage, what we know is, we know these two sides and the included angle. So from here, we will better find the side BC. And once we get side BC, then actually we can apply this sine law not before that is that okay so we'll do that so let us first find the side bc using cosine law so bc will be equal to we can write this as bc square is equal to ab square plus ac square minus two times ab times ac times cos of the included angle which is 78 degrees. So since we are given two sides and included angle we have to use cosine law correct. So let's calculate this. AB square is given to us as 817.87 square plus AC is 2000 minus 2 times 817.87 times 2000 times cos of 78 degrees right. 
so that should be equal to 817 square plus 2000 square minus 2 times 817.87 I should have used 0.87 so let me redo so it is 817.87 square plus 2000 square minus 2 times 817.87 times 2000 times cos of 78 right so cos of 78 is equal to so we have a very big number here which is uh, 39 let me write down here itself okay so this number is 39 Eight eight seven three two, okay. Point let's say three four. So to find BC, we'll do square root of this number, right? So square root of this number, which is three nine eight eight seven three two point let's say three four is equal to what? So we will do square root of our answer, and that is equal to. 1997.18 okay so finally we got BC right so this this side BC is 1997.18 now since we know BC we can find the angle A using we know the opposite side we don't ha even have to use cosine law this time so since this is a right triangle given to us in this right triangle, we can calculate the angle C using sine theta, right? So we can now write from here that sine theta, let me push this page a bit or use the right side. So from here we do sine C, right? This angle C is equal to 800 divided by the side 1997.18 right so this is equal to let me divide 800 divided by 1997.18 equals to so this is equals to 0. Point, let's say 4 so c the angle c is equal to sine inverse of 0. 0.4 right so we'll do shift sine inverse of 0 0.4 bracket close equal to so we get this as equal to 23.57 degrees right so angle c is 27 23.57 degrees it says round to nearest degree so we can round this to 24 degrees right so angle c is the angle of depression so we can write down our answer and say answer is that the angle of depression theta is equals to 24 degrees right so I hope that is clear to you so in this particular situation the first step was to sketch the diagram now I found it convenient to place north south horizontally since we are used to looking the diagrams in this fashion right so that is kind of a change in approach and then we applied this sine law to find one of the sides and then we applied the cosine law to find another side and then we applied the basic trigonometric ratio sine theta to find the angle and that angle was equal to the depression angle since they were alternate angle and so we got our answer so that is how we actually solved this particular question i hope that helps thank you and all the best.